Today we have Johnny from Grady, one of the best Napolitan pizza chefs in the world. And today, Johnny, we are reacting to uh, Paisano, Gino da Campo. Oh, he's one of my favorite. I Is love he? watching him, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's funny. Yeah, to he's watch. funny, he's funny. Uh, but you like his food? I have not had his food, but, and I haven't watched any of his uh, YouTube stuff, but I've seen him on that show that he's with Gordon yeah. Ram, with my, yeah, my and, best friend Gordon Ramsay and, yeah and also on the um, uh, UK morning yes. show. yeah yeah yes. yeah that, that is funny it's funny so it's, let's see if you know how to make pizza yeah, he calls for... this video makes a traditional Napolitan pizza oh wow so, okay let's go you are the champion Napolitan pizza maker right so let's, let's see. see yeah today I'm making the ultimate family famous and what we Italians are famous for of course Pizza. Okay, the title says traditional Napolitan pizza. pizza yeah. He says, you know, Italian and famous for all, so it makes believe that all the Italians make pizza. Yep, okay. Which is all right, but yeah. it's not true. Not all Italians know how to make pizza. In no. fact, when I grew up in Italy, we didn't have the best pizza. I didn't have Napolitan pizza growing up. No. I discovered Napolitan pizza when I came to Australia. Oh, there you go. Because Napolitan pizza is from Naples. Yes. Now, in these days, you find Napolitan pizzerias in my city. Mm -hmm and everywhere in Italy and yep. everywhere in the world. But 30 years ago, it was not that way. Wow, yeah. there you go. And because I'm Neapolitan, I think it's only right that I'm gonna show you how to make a proper traditional Neapolitan pizza. We're gonna make la pizza margherita. Wow, okay, I can't wait. So excited! Yeah, he's gonna make a proper one. He's gonna make a proper Neapolitan pizza. pizza. What does it look like to you? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Look, he's cooked in the oven at home, so give him a little bit of benefit of the doubt there. You're trying to defend him now. What's, what's happening? No, no, I want to no, see what he's doing. just love him. Trust me, everything is going to be okay. The basil is dead. He's dead, yeah. So where do we start? Get yourself a nice large bowl. This is where we're going to start our dough. In there, we're going to put 800 grams of double zero strain flour. Is it strain flour? What is it? Zero zero strain. Strain flour. Then add salt, Ooh. extra virgin. Ooh. No! Wait, 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 wait. wait. No to salt or not to extra virgin olive oil? Both now. So that's not Napolitan? No, not now. What was the mistake he made? Traditional Napolitan, you start with the water, the salt, the flour, the yeast, and then the flour. No oil. No oil. No Napolitan. oil. No. No, 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 no. So no this oil. is not Napolitan? No. But he's Napolitan. Sorry, Gino. Ti voglio bene, ma no. Extra virgin olive oil, castor sugar. No! <laughs> no, no, I'm out. Out, out. <laughs> Gino, no. You said if your grandmother had uh, wheels, she'd be the bicycle. My grandfather would be riding it because no. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. But I no, think that's, no. that joke made Gino so famous. No, no, no. No, he's giving me a favor. Sugar. He actually, Gino, I like Gino too, but when he did some recipes, he did some pastas, it really pissed me off no. as well, the way you are. <laughs> no! Because you have the power no. of sharing uh, no, beautiful Gino. Italian uh, traditions and, and, and recipes. And then you do something like this, no. and you look at Johnny, poverino. Un paesano. No. Why does he have to suffer this way? Huh? Why don't you invite a pizza chef to come to your no, channel and, and do the pizza? Come on. Do you want to watch more? We keep watching. Ah, no, we watch. Get yourself a wooden spoon and use yeah, it. Yeah, we go with the wooden spoon. Well, that's not a style. <laughs> yeah, okay. Back to the wooden spoon. At the back. Mix. Mix, 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 mix. Water goes in and keep going for the wooden spoon. We don't know if the water is cold, hot. You know, no. We don't know how much yeast to use. Um, no idea. We need to know. We need to know how much yeast. How much yeast do you use on Neapolitan pizza? You use one gram. One to three. How much do you use? We don't know. Boop. Gently, you just fold in the dough like I'm there. But you want to do this for 10 minutes? Just leave it like that. Remember the bowl where we mix everything together? You put it upside down. Oh, it's a bit rush. I can't really see the dough. Yeah. Oh, I can't see any. But do you think the dough was smooth enough? Mm -hmm. Nah, no, not enough. Leave it there for 20 minutes. Covering with the bowl, no problem. The best way is with a damp cloth because even with the bowl, a little bit of air comes in, you always get a little bit of dryness. Whereas when you put a damp cloth over the top, you keep dough moist. You want to keep it hydrated. Right. Um, and he said 20 minutes. With Napolitan pizza, minimum two hours. That's a pre-rest, two hours. Uh, 20 minutes, no. Maybe it was in a rush. You don't rush these things. <laughs> no, 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 no. You have to make the tomato sauce for the margarita. Cans of chopped tomatoes. I'm out. What, what's wrong with chopped tomatoes? I'm out. 
Why? He's Napolitan. He's using chopped tomatoes. I'm out. <laughs> Peeled tomato. Sarmazzano. Chopped tomatoes. Peeled de tomato. Then we'll be the chopped tomatoes. Chopped tomato is la scorsa del, del pomodoro. No. Gino, what are you doing to Johnny? What are you doing, Gino? No, Gino. Everyone in the world. Why? 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 Peeled tomatoes. I mean, San Marzano's is what you normally use for Napolitan pizza. Yeah. But peeled tomatoes. And if, you can't, is... and if you can't find them because you can't find them, get a good peeled tomato. And you can find peeled tomatoes everywhere. That's right. But this, is this a way oh. of... I'm sorry, Johnny. So get your hands in there and squeeze the tomato through. I'm sorry, but if you have... If you've got chopped tomatoes... You need to squeeze. We, we squeeze the peeled tomato. That's what I'm saying. There's no need to squeeze the chopped tomato. Finger. So you make the chopped tomato even finer. Then add salt and ex virgin olive oil. Ancora questo olio. Part of Italian cooking, fresh basil. Ancora. Oh. Smell. Oh. Well, 10, 12, 15 minutes, whatever you want. Okay. That's a lot. Basically a basil and with tomato. Cover with cleansing, leave it in the fridge. Half an hour before you're ready to cook it. Actually, I heard that you don't put the tomato in the fridge, is that right? Or do you actually refrigerate it? No, once you open it. I mean, in a restaurant, of course, you refrigerate it, mm. but for home... No, you can keep it out on the bench. It's actually keep it better. Out. Better yeah. to keep it out because when you cook your pizza, you're not putting a cold that's product right. that's going... Yeah. Well, keep I mean, it room temperature. Something. Room yeah. temperature, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, he's a Napolitan. He's, I'm not Napolitan. You should know this. The pizza, you've got your sauce ready. Your dough should have now doubled in size. Divide. Allora, in 20 minutes, doubled in size, that means he's put half a kilo of yeast. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Into five pieces. So once we have the strips of dough, gently, like gently. Okay, good, good technique. He knows how to play with the balls. Yeah. This can now be set aside. Ah, flour on the base? Ooh. No. No, no. Just put flour on the, in the container. I'll just put, the, put them in. I don't know why people put the flour in. Can I be honest, John? I've been doing that too. I feel more, I don't know, safe when I put that. No. When I don't put worry the flour at the safe. bottom, I feel like, okay, it's not going to get stuck. No more flour. No more flour. I learned this from you. Thank you, John. No you say, huh? You told me now. <laughs> the way you looked at me. I'm about to tell you the key to pizza perfection. First thing you need to get yourself a nice pizza stone like that. And pour it about 10 centimeters away from the heat. Because what we're doing, <laughs> keeping the oven close, we need to put in this oven as high as, as we can. 250, 260, if we can, even to 300 degrees. This guy, I mean, 300 degrees, it must be a very expensive oven, so... 250, I think, is the maximum you can reach. 250, 300, yeah. if you have an if expensive have almond. Yeah. Some almonds are even reaching 230, which mm. is not easy to do a pizza napoletana no. with 230. So 250 no. is not even yeah. easy. Yeah. So he has to use the grill. In America, it's called broiler. Is that, that's what he's oh, saying. No, I would, use I, would, I would use fan forced. See the little writing here? Fan yes. forced. Gino. He's using grill. Fan forced. How long for in fan forced? Highest, take a few minutes. I cook the Neapolitan pizza dough made correctly in three and a half minutes on a fan for oven at home. And then you turn it around, you rotate it. Yeah, turn it around. And you put the ingredients on top from the beginning? Yes. I think you're using grill, so... No grill. I don't know what's going to happen. We're not cooking steaks. Yeah, I know what you mean, I know. It's, it's, it's tricky. Oh, if you have fan force, you get more of an even cook. Yeah, if you use the grill, you cook the top. But... And the bottom? Yeah, this is interesting. Hmm. Let's see. And once the oven preheats and your dough proves again, you can kick back and relax. To me, that means having some time to read the Italian paper. I think you should be reading your uh, pizza book instead of reading this to learn how to make Napolitan pizza. Uh huh? Okay, let's make pizza. You just stretch it outside. Looks very uh, rigid. No, 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 but no. even the technique. Not bad. What did you do wrong? I thought he was going to start DJing. Once you got that, get yourself a nice wooden shovel. You want to lift the pizza and pour on the wooden shovel. 
wooden shovel helps a lot for yes. us on yes. made yes. pizza yes. 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 Lovers, wooden shovel is the best because it doesn't get stuck you know exactly. the pizza peel is more difficult to use yeah so you put all the ingredients on top easy yeah then guys pomodoro leave a good centimeter from the board top with sliced mozzarella bravo this is the first video for napolitan pizza where they've cut the mozzarella correct bravo gino bravo. Yeah, listarella, you say, like, bravo. bravo gino with a simple touch thank you bravo you change on he bravo. loves you now bravo then we're gonna do a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil all fresh pasta now is the time when i need you to be confident that's what you do look you say that when you put the pizza in, you don't do that. Uh, it should be one one thing. But in, in, a, in an oven at home, you know, it, if you feel more comfortable doing that to, to get it off, no problem. What's important is in to a wood, have the In oven. a wood fire oven, you need to go in and stuck. It's warm. Close it straight away. Just be patient. Five to six minutes. Five to six minutes Five under six. the grill. Well, man, it's, it's, a, it's a home oven. Five, six under minutes. the grill, six minutes will burn. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done it with the grill. I've done I, only it with do, the grill. I only do it with pan force. I usually, what I do is I first cook the bottom. Mm. I use the bottom compartment mm -hmm. to cook the bottom, just with the tomato sauce. And then I put the mozzarella oh, and everything on top. And, and then, then I put it under the grill for like a minute. And you could cook the edges on top and the mozzarella. That's what I use, I use as a technique. And that's when it takes about like five minutes in total. Mm. Five minutes for the bottom and one minute and a half for the top. But if you, if you do six minutes just the grill, you you're going to burn it. The bottom didn't cook. This is why you don't use the grill. There you go. You can see all raw. You can see the bottom raw. is raw. So it's not a good pizza. It's a chewing gum. Yeah. So the top has been cooked because it's forced it with the grill heat. Mm. But if you put it on fan force and you let your stone get hot for at least 30 minutes and then you do the technique that Gino done you get the bottom will cook perfectly the top from the fan forced will cook the top you check if for any reason the bottom is getting cooked more turn the grill on finish it off but then you've got bottom cook top cook and you get a soft pliable and beautiful Napolitan pizza but anyway Gino is very he does he's done very well and good on yes. you yes uh, Say hi to Gordon, uh, uh, my best friend Gordon. Yeah. I always speak on him. Ah, oh, that's all right. <laughs> Group <art! laughs> Come here, Gordon. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe we should change the video, uh, Gino, to uh, making uh, pizza. Yeah, making pizza, it's making okay. Pizza. But let's cook the bottom. But let's <laughs> but let's let's not let's not put our paisani in Napoli uh, to shame you. No, you know please, it's not no, fair. Not do not fair for them. Not no. fair for our tradition. But it's not pizza napoletana. Sorry. You know, you said uh, you, you love Gordon. Mm. Maybe you never watched his pizza videos, have you? No. Yeah, you're not going to love him. I don't want to watch him. I'm not going to introduce you I don't want to watch Gordon him. Ramsay pizzas because <laughs> I reacted to a few of his pizzas and you're not going to be happy. No. All you need to know, he puts rosemary on the margarita. <laughs> Finish with fresh rosemary. Guys, thank you so much. You know what I say in Napoli? No. The spud in patch. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Thank you, Johnny. Ciao, the guys. Best, one of the best pizza chefs in the world. Come and see him at Grady, Melbourne. It was funny to react with you, Johnny. Thank you. Thank you, guys. See, see you guys. in the next reaction videos or Johnny's pizza video. E ora si mangia. No, Gino's pizza. No. We're going to eat Johnny's pizza. Can we have a pizza, please? Thank you. <laughs> Ciao.